Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Layback Gamer, and we're back with another video. I'm not sure what it is, but it is bound to be, hopefully, a very exciting one. So yeah, we're back. And, well, you read the title, so you know exactly what we we're going to be doing. So, if you like the video, leave a like. Maybe even consider subscribing if you really like the video. Ooh, that'd be very nice if you did. And, well, yeah. So sit, so go on, grab some food and a beverage. Maybe not one that's that fancy. Sit back and enjoy the show. Good sideboard. You're all nice and asleep. You need to sleep. If you ain't sleeping, then, well, you ain't gonna be a happy camper. I don't like it when my coldness are unhappy. But it also just occurred to me that Alarak isn't going to be vengeful at the moment. He might still develop that trait. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if he does. We'll see if he develops that trait. Caravan has arrived. Alright, let's go ahead and trade. Let's see, yeah, it's a different eh, it's a different guy this time. It's actually not that bad. Like, nothing wrong with him. He's a he's a perfectly average colonist. This is if I was starting a brand new game, I would probably take this colonist. He is just perfect average. And that's not a bad thing. Sometimes it's okay to be average. Yeah, we're taking that. I got offloaded, I think I said 350. Um, bad charge rifle, the SMG, that's a okay charge, that's a good charge. Ah, here we go, one of the one of the tear gas grenades. And we have a crypto rifle. An experimental rifle with metal cord projectiles wrapped in an unstable crypto technology held in place by an energy field. Targets are both pierced by the metal core as well as fro frozen by the extremely rare and powerful. Yes. Alright, I change I take by take it back. I think I'm gonna be selling all of the gold off. Yeah, all the gold would cover that debt. Maybe I'll let the silver go. Uh, let's see. What's our silver situation back here? Okay, yep, uh, we're just gonna buy it outright. We won't sell the gold. We will sell the few things that I was going to sell earlier, so that and that. Pick up the crypto, pick up the jump, this, because we can use those. Uh, sell off these. You know, lower the cost down a little bit. That there, uh, keep the flat screen TV, and I think we are. Oh, let's have a crypto hatch, but I don't think I'm gonna grab that handheld beanbag launcher. Oh, I see, it's another non lethal weapon. I was about to say, <laughs> that's, a, that's a strange thing to be uh, carrying there, but now I kind of understand what it's for. All right, so that's all oh, hens. Do I want eggs? I want some eggs. I think maybe not. Not at the moment. We'll come back. We might come back for them later, though. As much as I'd like to have, uh, you know, some hens, some farm animals around here, I can't really... Have... Well, I, I could afford to. We do have a large harvest, and this room is, you know, being kept cold constantly. So, yeah, I probably could have afforded to take them on, but I wouldn't have a place to put them. Yeah, that's the issue. I wouldn't have a place to put them. I probably would need to you know, grow some fields here, grow a bunch, have a bunch of hay grass growing. In, uh, maybe not there, but somewhere around here, have you know, like a, a dedicated animal farm area, and put a small freezer, and have it to where we haul all the human corpses. And that way, our uh, night, our carnivore animals, they'll they'll have a they'll have a, a free supply. Okay, what's oh. That's not bad, I don't think. What are we all equipped with? You got a revolver, you really need a better weapon. 
Melee, melee. I got three melee guys. You don't fight. You don't fight. And you, the best you got is a machine. My god, that is terrible. We're not really known for our weapons here, although we did pick up a PW, PW here. We have this, but I don't want to burn that on, uh, well, on the Clutch Mother. Uh, let's see here. What is that? Oh, record. Oh, we've already probably, yeah, we probably already recorded everything we could for this. We have drainers. Yeah, those, uh, they go for power. I don't want to necessarily have that happening. So yeah, we get this area cleared out. I think I'm going to have this dedicated to basically crafting all the apparel and potentially our weapons. So in here is going to be our tailor's bench. What's now going on? Panic attack Troy. Yes, yeah, sorry, I can't help you with that. Taxes have been built. Okay, that's great. Our settlements are going to really hate us for a while. I can't defend them. I literally can't build up fast enough in them in order to defend them. So let's see here. Lamin. Oh, that's the one getting attacked again. So turn up well. Let's upgrade this town to 3,000. Yeah. Let's upgrade it to 3,000. That'll give it plus one military. And then add in... Uh, the Adventurers Guild would give us plus one military level, but it would also have a bit of an upkeep. Is there any others that we can have? We have a barracks. That'll do the same, but we already have that. Clean energy lab, deforestation camp, firearm, forest, uh, forest workers camp. That's 10% on taxes and 200 silver duck keep. Provides security for the colony. Jailhouse. Walking camp. Migrant home. Play camp. Market quarry. Research lab. Renaissance warehouse. Slave plantation. Trading post. Training yard. Uh, I think it's... Alright, so which one's better to have for us? So we have this. Minus 15% production to food, weapons, and apparel. We don't produce that from here. Plus 5% to base tax. Plus 1 military level. Uh, yeah, build that. I think that'll be better. And then the next level we can build up uh, another one. So it, it'll bring the, this will bring the colony up by a power level of 4 by the time it's done. I hope it finishes soon. Let's see here. Events. Food supply. Food surplus. Black armor's finished. Oh, that's great. That's actually good news. I do like that. With the black armor finished, we can now start to properly outfit all of our colonists with, uh, you know, with some at least base level armor for the time being. I still got that. I gotta get that set up. Troy successfully calmed down. Oh. I thought Troy successfully calmed down Osborne. Uh, no, that's not the case. What are you doing outside of the kitchen? You're gonna die out here. Well, I guess the walrus can wander around. I'm, I'm sure it'll go back to here once it's finished. Let's see here. For Gil. I will have to unfortunately sell Gil off. I can't keep him in here forever. Which means it'd be cool. It, it'll be fun to have him around, but alas, he does have to go. I'm hearing my dog barking, so I will be right back in just one moment, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Anima Yak is pregnant. Oh, that's exciting. Alright, let's continue on as normal. I'm good to y'all. I have no idea how long I'm one of. I had wanted to record maybe another hour of this, or another hour since I started, but I don't really know how far I'm going to go. Maybe until I'm happy. Or at least I'm happy with the process that I've, uh, I've made. Anywho, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, something's happened. Spaceship crash. 
comms console light up with an automatic distress signal sent by a spaceship. The signal includes uh, specific sub the stops. What I want to find at the crash. Uh, that's a, that's a bit far away. Although I am curious to check it out. I would also like to pay a visit to the grave. I also want to put up a siege against these guys. There's a, there's a lot I want to do. Now, granted, I'm not going to get any of that done in uh, this little recording session that I got, but it uh, it's it's a planned thing for the future. Definitely planned for the, the near future. All right, Mr. Walrus. I yep. I would say you might want to see some safe temperature before you uh, before you end up dying. It's like ah, this is nice. It's a little warmer than I'm used to. The only reason is it's just covered in blubber. Like the wall, if we could just extract all the blubber from a lot of blubber from you, I think you'd actually be okay out here. What was this one? Oh, that's a soup pulser. Yeah, that's in case uh, in case you have a lot of insanes around here, but everybody seems to be very happy, exhausted. That uh, seems to be a common theme with the uh, cyborg. Uh, you may want to uh, tend to yourself, because I guarantee that both of these are what's causing it. So let's see, we have, yeah, the rest fall rate by 100%, and 170% for rest fallers, so. Cyborg has to spend a lot more time sleeping. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten you to go rest yourself. Thing is, I could. No taxes have arrived. We have a bunch of silver. Maybe yeah, I can have you drinking. Oh yeah, I I realize I. Because we can actually freeze them into iced coffee. So they cost nine. How much does a normal cup of coffee cost? Eight. So it actually improves their value by giving them an iced cup of coffee. It's an icy awakening. Nothing better than iced coffee to refer. I think the other one gives a plus one, a plus one extra. But this does sell for a lot more, so. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I forgot that you could just get iced coffee by simply placing it in a fridge or a freezer. Oh, also, oh my, we're getting a lot of, uh... The mead got ruined by temperature. It's actually quite warm in here. I think that's from the outside. We could probably afford to, uh... That. So that's the new pair of pants. Yeah, we'll get a uh, we'll get green there to get a new pair of pants since I'm pretty sure that's what he's missing. Or she missing. I can't tell. I can read it a bit later. Okay, so we got this room to work. Well, we still have this room to finish up on. But I don't think we have any. Oh no, we got a ton of wood. All right, boy, can you finish constructing this? And then come over here and finish this. You're affected by that. Why are you not in bed? Oh, you're a hard worker. Uh, actually, to be fair, you're not really that tired either. Let's finish building these. Sorry about that. Now you have a much nicer room. Slightly impressive, somewhat impressive. Decent, decent. Yeah, the carpets are adding a bunch of much needed uh, beauty to the room. Well, a lot of nice looks to it. I'm pretty happy with that. We are maintaining the comms console. Is there anybody on the comms console? Not really. Not anybody I could call. I mean, I could call the Merchant's Guild over, but we're not really on a at least not on fighting terms. I mean, speaking terms. We's on, we're on fighting terms, alright. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who is close to me? So we have a... Uh... Oh, something's happened. Uh... 
We can see inside? Well, that's cool. This is our place? Really? Oh no, that's this place. Why can we see that? No, this is part of the mer- Why can we see this? Oh, they might be- they're, they're about to be under attack. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look at all this stuff that they- oh gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Why is there only- why do they only have one single guy here defending? Nate, you might want to come back here, buddy. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of bullets. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that we're not surviving this. Not with a... Uh... Nate, here, it might be a little dead. Sorry, Nate, you're, uh, you're a little screwed. Yeah, that's Lannan. So that was uh, action available. The cost of your next settlement will be reduced by half because of your fat expansion trait. Ooh. So I could actually build another one elsewhere. I think I might try... How much silver do I got stockpiled here? I don't think I have a whole lot left over. 26, that's not bad. Uh, let's see here. Military buildings cost 100 less. I get to know colonies. Can I create a new one? Yep. So settle for 500. That's not bad. Let's see here. So, about this place. Just go on the tile there. That's just all ones. That's point fives. Plus one for food. Because I could actually use one that's producing food. That would be nice, although I don't want to rely on that. That's the only issue out here. But actually gives a bit better for power. Gives a bit less for power. Perhaps we go mine goods, actually. That could be something we could do. Yeah, let's place this right here. In 0.4 days. Hmm. Defense failure. Wilderness Guild barracks have been destroyed in the raid. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. And then here comes the uh, Adventure Guild has been constructed and turn it. If well, that's good. Yep, they've decreased by a little bit. So let's see here. We'll need to uh, rebuild. Build the barracks once again. And then we lost the wilderness guild. How much did that cost? That was a, yeah, 500. So go ahead and rebuild that. That's fine. That will give us a defense rating of, of one. And let's see. So gunsmithing. That's nice. Turnip well now has a stre military strength of three, which is good. They're pretty happy. They haven't been attacked in a while then again, but they do have a defense of three, which is good. A SRS ship. What the heck is an SRS ship? Hey, Osborne. Go give these guys a call. I'd like to know what they are. Who they are and what they're selling. That's what I want to know. Oh, they're a security one. Ah. They'll actually take on my uh, my prisoners. Defender, Sentinel. I oh, could afford... Wow, that's a lot. They, uh, they'll take... Well, we're about to... That's not going to have five components here. That's, uh, that's sad. We don't have that many components. We don't actually don't have that much stuff to sell them either. Could sell them. Nah. Oh, that's a lot of weapons. A piece. A 
non-commercial assembly bench of the SRS for developing SRS security, effectively security robots. Uh, not quite. That's a very end game, a end gamey tech. But we were able to research guns, so that's going to go in this new building here. Our uh, apparel slash weaponry production. A bulk's good trader. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to tack on a. Uh, Another building right here that's going to effectively be the armory for us. So we'll make sure uh, each place has its own. Well, well, we'll come up with different specialized builds for each of them. Maybe not each of them, but just in general. I think, do I? I got androids. Yeah, but I don't think I have a. I don't have the old ones, do I? Android upgrade. Yeah, I don't think I have them. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, we don't have those ones. We don't have the uh, the ones that are questionably very broken. Because uh, T1 and T2s, they're completely happy. Speaking of completely happy, hello, our boys who have returned home. Alarak has been saved and is back here. That's trade. These are bulk. They, they have. They're gonna have some Rayhounds for sale, I think. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so frightening, con frightening construction. I don't like the sound of that, but we'll first uh, have some advanced components, normal components. Uh, oh yeah, we could. Oh yeah, we could sell this off. Look at that. That actually gets a little bit, slightly more than this. These guys do. So sell all the coffee. Sell all the tea. Sell all the coffee. Not the not the smoke leaves. We could keep those. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything specific that we want to buy? Actually, uh, no, there is not anything that I want to buy from these guys. So, suppose uh, maybe take back on no tea. And that actually works. All right, so we'll take that. Where's the silver that we just dropped? Okay, haul the silver back. Haul that silver back in. Okay, now let's take a look at this. So, oh, that's a large mech cluster. After completion, you'll have to protect one if any piece is destroyed. Oh, that's what they'll activate. So, I'll have to keep it protected for a while. Uh, over a thousand of that. Ooh, that's a, that's a little pricey. I suppose I do have an area we could put it up over this way, which require, yeah, so that's a large, that's actually a much, that's a big monument. I don't, yeah, I'm not going to accept it. 12, oh, the 12, that is pretty big. And we are friend, I think we have Exodus, so that's a lot there, and then 50 Goodwill. Uh, Goodwill is, can be pretty easy to come by. For the exit for them. Excellent. The settlement has been formed. So, uh, we just got back a lot of silver from uh, so you there. A bunch of free workers. I want merchant. Oh, that's cool because we formed a new settlement. Nice. All right. So, product effectivity, effectiveness. So we're actually losing a taking a loss on that, so I, I had wanted to settle for food. Maybe, uh, maybe we settle for medical supplies instead, since we don't see, we don't have a whole lot of them. And we get most of our money from, oh no wait, no, sorry, we, we settle this for mining goods. Primarily, so, Tithy on that. That'll give us the most amount of profit. I do want to increase. So let's see here. Um, food weapon. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind that. Plus, plus a little bit of extra tax. It gives us extra tax. Eight maximum workers plus five. Yeah, I don't want that. That's also a 500 upkeep. Uh, let's see. Our t Ooh, now that would be. 
I would actually like a place, a uh, very militarized area that has the artillery outpost, but I don't think that's worth it there. Uh, let's see. Uh, not the deforestation camp since we're doing, uh, we have mining goods and forestry. So we, we want a logging camp. So build the logging camp. Then I want something to help my mining area, so Migrant House Plague Camp. Public Market Quarry to evade. Yep, that's, that's the one I want. And we'll slot the Adventures Guild in once we have uh, once we move the silver into there. Medicine basics, that's good. I think I go next. Okay, so we're getting some more, uh... Alright, I get what we're doing now. Exotic animal interested, so no, I don't really want that. Let's see here. I do need to find something else for sideboat to work. I guess drill for oil. That'll do. While we, uh, set up a... While we get this stuff moved out... Well, most of the stuff moved out of here and into here. Uh, let's see. So, in terms of... All right, yeah, we can't go any further this way. I mean, I will mine this out. We'll mine all of that. That's a lot to mine out. Mine it out, and then we'll replace it with uh, walls. Okay, let's see here. Zone, a dumping zone for... Ah, uh, I gotta think. I gotta think this through a little bit. Okay, let's see here. Anima, yeah. Go ahead and drop all that stuff. Alright, cyborg. Can I get you to haul all of this away before you uh, go eat? Are you almost out of. Are you almost finished with the mechanites? No, you're not quite there yet. Okay, boy, can I get you to haul this stuff in too? You got a lot of stuff now, which is great. Okay. By the way, the silver just came in, so you can also build the Adventures Guild. There we go. That'll give you an extra defense. Uh, Turnip Well is going to be my biggest area, which is great. Lamin is on a bit of a downward slide, although you do actually have a massive amount of foot goods. How much would that give us? Not a whole lot. Alright, so speaking of, can I just look, take a look at the health of each of our guys? We don't, we have a second toe on Cyborg, so installing the foot on her would be good. Uh, an eye, now that would be something else as well. These are, uh, you're doing the drug lab there, so I'm actually going to get you to be the one to apply the tech print in the morning. I'll be right back in just a second, because I'm feeling the need to, uh, I'm feeling the need to, need to uh, do well what most people come in here to do so I'll be right back oops I just noticed that I still had to hit the pause unpause all right so that's good she gets the extra experience now I want it in her because she's uh she's mainly on uh on here doing all the uh you know this stuff all the uh all the illegal stuff making. Well, I guess illegal in terms of RimWorld's sake. Uh, let's see here. We have tobacco. Uh, psychoid leaves. More of those. Let's make flake yayos. Which requires... Each of them require quite a bit, actually. Which one sells for more? Bales. So that sells for 20. Yayo sells for 21. And Flakes sells for 14. They're hot, but they require more. I think double the amount. Yeah, they require double the amount to make. So it's a little hard to tell if either of them are it's worthwhile. Let's have that from the stream. Smelling salts. Ammonia salts to help stimulate the respiratory system of creatures to cause what? Well. 
Okay, interesting. Alrighty, so currently, yeah, it's just boys. Hold on a second, why haven't we uh, offloaded these, uh, this anime yak? Yeah, that's ooh, the multi analyzers on that one. Yeah, we'll want to, uh, I want to start. Let's see, so let's begin up here. We have this. So I'd like the order, the deconstruction of all of this here and that. The mining of this. Let's see here, so. Use this as a benchmark. So I'd like to have one right there. That's nice. We have one right there. The analyzer then fits. So you're like that and that. The analyzer will go on top. And we'd look up to both of them. And down here we have a... Uh, okay, yeah, that could work. That could work in this current setup. Oh my. Oh, that's a heat wave. I'll take a pug. And welcome back. You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. And also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton I think cap well, I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point but anyways here's a little, small little bit of collection of games that I've done and if you look on screen it should take you to either another video or a playlist maybe you'll enjoy that perhaps you might not I don't know we will find out hope you all enjoyed and until next one take it easy